Hello everybody and welcome to week five of How to Circus with Danielle from Ignite Circus. And today we're joining you here with Cornelius because we're going to build something brand new today. Today we are going to make our very own roll of bolas. How exciting is that? All right, let's get started. So first things first, because today's toy is a little more dangerous than the toys we've been using in the past, we want to make sure that we have all of our space cleared away. So that way, if our board slides at any point, we're not going to damage anything. Sound good? Great. So let's begin. The first thing you're going to need is a big piece of wood. Now, one thing you want to keep an eye on is, doesn't really matter how big your board is, but is it about the distance that your feet are apart when you stand with a nice, strong, sturdy stance? And is it about the distance of one foot length from either side to side? If it is, then that is a great board to start off with. Next thing you're going to need to make a rollabola. You're going to need some stoppers. And the fun thing with these is, I'll bring them in a little closer to the camera to show you. When you cut your stoppers, you want to have about a quarter inch of clearance on each side. So that way when it fits on the board, you'll have about a quarter inch here quarter inch here and quarter inch here so it stays a little sturdier on the edge of the board. All right, next we're going to need a drill. And because I know a lot of our friends at home who are watching are a little bit younger, make sure you have a grown up to help you if you're using any power tools like a drill or if you're using a saw to cut your pipe. Which brings us to the next point that we need for our rollabola. We need a piece of pipe not just any pipe, this is a piece of four inch ABS pipe. Now, one thing you might find is, at the store, your pipe is gonna be this color instead. All right, that's fine as long as it's sturdy enough to hold all of your weight. We thought it would be fun to paint ours though. That's why ours is red. Now, when it comes to your pipe, you might find that you have three inch pipe more readily available, or you might have some really big tubes. So if you have a bigger pipe, that's fine. You might want to make your board a little longer so you can get up on top of your pipe a little easier. For me, I like the smaller pipes because they're a little less scary because they're not going up as high off the ground. All right, are we ready to get started with how to make our board? Oh, I forgot something. Remember our last video, how we said we were going to give away one of these rollabolas? Well, the one that we'll be making today is going to go away to one lucky viewer. So if you want to be the one to win the rollabola today, here's what you have to do. First, you have to like our video. Next, I want to see you leave a comment on the video. Give us a comment by this time next week. So you've got seven whole days to catch this video in your newsfeed. And then the other thing is we need you to share the video too. So if you share the video and you leave us a comment and you like it, this time next week, your name will be entered in a draw and you'll get to win the Rollabola. Now, the tough part is I know a lot of our viewers are all over Canada. Some of them are even all over North America, even further, but right now, our postal systems are having a little bit of difficulty because they're a little bit backed up and taking a little while. So unfortunately, you have to be living on the Avalon Peninsula of Newfoundland and Labrador in order to be eligible to win our Rollabola because we're going to deliver it to you with a contactless delivery. How great does that sound? So remember, like, comment, and share. And if you live on the Avalon Peninsula in Newfoundland, you could win your very own Rollabola. In fact, the one that we're about to make right now. So let's get started. 
All right. So Cornelius here is going to help us out. The first thing you want to do is you want to pre-drill some holes in your stopper, okay? This is going to help make sure that the thin wood you're using, watch your fingers, Cornelius, doesn't split. So, once you have your pilot holes drilled, now you're ready to line them up on your board. Are we going to pre-drill holes in our board too, Cornelius? No? All right. So, to get a nice snug fit, what we're going to do is we're going to drill our pilot holes in our stopper, and then we're going to use a bit of wood glue on our stopper to help add some extra security because when you're learning with a roll of bola, I know things can tend to get a little bit rough and that's all right. So you'd like to have some paper towel handy too, just in case your wood glue gets a little bit messy. Want this down here? Oh, moving it back. All right. All right, I'll move out of the way so Cornelius can do all of the hard work. So as you see, he's pouring the glue right on there because we're going to want a fair amount to make sure we get a solid seal. Just make sure that you don't use so much that it leaks out from the sides of your stoppers. If you do, though, that's what your paper towel is for. Stopper on the board. And remember, leave a quarter inch clearance on all sides of your edge. Next, oh, you'll make sure that you have the appropriate bit in your drill and start screwing the board into the stopper. When you hear that noise, that means it's gone in all the way. It can get a little bit loud though, so if you want to wear some air protection, that is totally all right. Here at Ignite Circus, we're used to things getting a little bit loud though, and I know that the noises won't take too long, so we'll wait it out. Awesome, that's looking good, Cornelius. That's one side done. Now he's going to do the other. Oh, but first, he's going to wipe up some of the excess glue. That way, our roll of bola is nice and neat and tidy. Oh, my. I need a bit more paper towel. Looking Cornelius, is that good? Excellent. All right, now I wipe up the glue on the other side. Awesome, so that's looking pretty good there now. I'm going to show you up close what I mean about that quarter inch clearance. There we go. Can you see that right along through there? So that's where the quarter inch clearance goes right there. All right, now we're gonna set this board aside to dry. And then we're gonna get started on how to actually use the rollabola. So while this board is drawing, I just wanna let you know though, the cool part about making your very own rollabola is that you can decorate this however you would like. Isn't that awesome? So one of the things you'll notice is our rollabolas have grip tape on them. This is the same type of tape that you can get if you're at a hardware store. It's usually sold to help add grip to staircases, but you can also use skateboard grip tape too, and you can cut some really cool shapes out of that. I'll show you what that kind of looks like. 
This is an example that was using skateboard grip tape. See how you can get cool shapes for your feet too? So one of the fun things about this is you can get really creative with how you decorate your rollabola. But aside from being creative with how you decorate it, there's also so many ways you can learn how to use it. All right, let's get started. Cornelius, would you like this one since it's long and tall like you are? All right. So to use your brand new rollabola, you're going to put your tube on the ground. I'm going to use the red one so it shows up a bit better. So the tube will go on the ground like this. Then your board will go over top. Pretty straightforward, right? But one thing that I said earlier is that rollabolas can get really dangerous. So when you're on your board, it's going to slide this way. It's going to slide this way. It might even do a flip right over all the way across your room. So when you line up your rollabola, you want to make sure that there's nothing on either side of you. None of your friends or family members, no pets, no assistant monkeys, no breakable mirrors, and you definitely don't want to leave your most precious prized possessions on the edges of your rollabola. All right, now, in order to show you the next piece, I'm going to turn this sideways, okay? So, you notice I have a yoga mat underneath my rollabola. If you're practicing on a carpeted floor, it will be much, much, much more forgiving than if you're practicing on a hardwood floor. I find a yoga mat is the perfect compromise where you get to get a feel of how unsteady a rollabola actually is, but you still feel a little bit of added confidence that it's not going to slide right out from underneath you. So to add even more confidence, I'm going to turn this on the side so you can see how I would spot one of my friends or family members who's learning how to use one. Now I know one of the big things right now is that we're all trying to maintain a good physical distance away from all of our friends right now unless they're already living in the same house like Cornelius is. So that's why Cornelius and I are going to be able to hold hands very soon. But if you're living alone, you can use the back of your couch to hold on to. You can line up against a wall like this or like this to hold on to. So there's a lot of ways that you can get around this. But what I'm going to teach you right now is called acro grip. The main takeaway, though, is whatever spotting technique you're using, whether you're holding on to a table or chair at about waist height in front of you, or whether you're holding on to a wall very gently, is that you do want to take a little bit of care as it can take a bit of practice to get the feeling for using a rollabola, especially if you've never done anything like skateboarding or snowboarding or, I don't know, surfing before. So, I've never done any of those things before. Let's try it. The circus way. So, and circus, we use a grip called acro grip. Come on up, Cornelius. We're going to show acro grip up close. So, what's going to happen is one person's going to put their palms up. The other person is going to put their palms down. Okay? And the person who's on top is going to wrap their hands around the other person's wrists, just like this. The person who's on the bottom will also wrap their hands around the wrists. Now, this is really important for bring your toes in close to mine. If you're doing counterbalance like partner acro, lean back Cornelius, this helps to give us a very steady grip on each other. All right, bring your hips in towards mine again. Good. Good job. Yep, come towards me. Counterbalance. Stand up straight. Good job. <laughs> so as you can see, that's why it's a very sturdy grip to hold on to. So if someone's practicing rollabola and they're going everywhere like this, it makes it much easier to catch them if they're about to fall and lower to them to the ground a little more safely. So the person who is the spotter will put their hands on the bottom with their palms facing up. This would also be where your base or your porter would hold if you're practicing partner acrobatics. The person who is on the rollabola or your flyer will put their hands on top. All right? So let's get started. Whoops, sorry about that. 
So your spotter is going to put their hands out and the person who's mounting the rollabola is first going to step on to the end that's tilting towards the ground. Spotters get ready. As the person who's mounting the rollabola steps up, you're going to feel their weight shift in this direction as they even out on both sides. Okay, up you go. Good. Good job. Now, one thing to be mindful of and conscientious of is if you're the person who's on the rollabola, if you look down, it's going to make it a lot harder to balance. So make sure you pick a point on the wall right across from you and look and try and look up at least eye height, if not higher, while you try and balance on the board. As you get more comfortable balancing, you can begin to loosen up your grip on your spotter. As the person is starting to learn the rollabola, spotters, I'm assuming a lot of you are probably going to be the parents, you can keep your hands right here just in case they need to hold on or you need to do a quick catch before they go flying. All right. Some other things to keep an eye out for is on the rollabola, you'll notice how the red part of the tube at the bottom of the screen is now kind of really far in front of the board, isn't it? That's something you want to keep an eye out for because if the board starts to tilt and go off kilter, can you hold the tube up for me and I'll show them what I mean? So right now our board and our tube are parallel, but I'll hold the tube. If the board starts to shift like this under your body weight, you want to reset it and bring it back to parallel. So I'll show you on this angle too. Okay, this is parallel, how your board and your tube line up like this and you can't see the tube under the board. If it starts to twist like this, you want to encourage the person to come down off of the board before they reset it instead of trying to shift and shuffle the weight like this because then the board might go flying as well. All right. Once you get the hang of mounting the rollabola, come on up, put the tube down. Oh, I was going to leave the mat down because I was going to show a super advanced move, but if you'd like to do it without the mat, you can be my guest. So I'm going to get out of the way here. And once you've started to get the hang of using the rollabola and you become incredibly confident with it, there are a few advanced moves that you can start to do if you're comfortable already balancing. So the goal with the rollabola is to be able to balance like you see Cornelia is doing now. Okay, some of the corrections that you'll need to make might mean that you have to move a bit more extremely and that's all right, but it can be a little bit intimidating at first. Now, once you've got the hang of balancing and you want some more challenges, some of the things you can try to do are you can try and combine some of the other circus skills that we've been learning like juggling while on the rollabola. You can try spinning poi while on rollabola. You can even try doing flower sticks or hula hooping on the rollabola. But I can show you one cool trick that can get you feeling like a pro in no time. All it takes is lots and lots and lots of confidence. Are you ready? All right, Cornelius, come on down and let's show them how it's done. So this advanced move is called a jump mount. And how you do a jump mount is you're going to take your board and you're going to steady it using both of your hands. Can you move it back just a little bit, Cornelius, so we can see it better? Awesome. So you're going to steady it using both of your hands like this. You're going to tell everybody to get out of the way. And when you're ready, you're going to go one, two, three, and jump. And then on you go. How cool is that? Big round of applause for Cornelius. Yeah. So things that you want to be careful about, though, while you're learning your jump mount are when you put your hands on the board, make sure your fingertips are nice and flat on top of the board. You don't want to grip around the edges of the board because if you don't go up perfectly straight on your jump, then your board might squat your fingers underneath and that would not be good. So make sure if you try your jump mount, you leave it really, really, really flat. But wait until you're feeling really confident and that you're able 
to keep your balance on the board for a long time like you see Cornelius doing back there before you even attempt the jump mount because it, it's really scary to try. So I hope that that gives you lots to work on over the next little while. As of right now, this is our last episode of How to Circus as it was initially planned, but we might be back with more fun in the upcoming weeks. Who knows? Let us know what other tutorials you'd like to see too. Maybe we could make some clown noses. I don't know, who wants to learn how to stand on their head? We could do lots more fun. So let me know what kind of tutorials you'd like to see if you want to keep How to Circus going. And don't forget to like, comment, comment on this side, and share the video to win your very own Rollabola too. But unfortunately, it's only restricted to residents on the Avalon Peninsula of Newfoundland. So let us know how you enjoyed the Rollabola tutorial and let us know how it's coming along too. If you're having any issues learning how to do it, it just takes lots of patience, a little bit of courage, and lots of practice. Keep practicing your circus, and we hope to see you again real soon, everyone. <laughs> Bye, Cornelius. <laughs>